Hello everyone, this is Fel Phoenix, aka James. As you can see in the background image there, that is Hampton Court Palace, or as it should look, or maybe as I feel it should look. Um, anyone who doesn't know what Hampton Court Palace is, it's in East Molesey on the outskirts of London in the UK. Um, this palace belonged to Henry VIII, um, William III and his wife, and uh, the Georgian era. Um, as you can see, this is more of a Tudor period in front, and obviously around the back of the palace is more a Renaissance Georgian sort of era. Um, I'm using a realistic texture pack, and I've created this um, uh, build on a flat ground. Um, I've used, you see the writing there, ignore that at the beginning. That is a um, just a reference marker of how and where I'm going to start. Um, also, guys, any suggestions? Any comments, I welcome them all, regardless of negative, positive. Anything you can tell me um, that's going to make this build better and look more realistic, please tell me. You might have a suggestion for how to do drain pipes better, how to do, um, you know, turrets, anything like that. You know, just let me know. Um, as you can see there, um, like I said, I had the flat, um, the flat level, but. Um, when the editing screen you can lower it so I've done that I've loaded it a bit more added some layers and the reasons it reasons is, is when you drop down as you can see the moat there I've had to go down uh, dig down quite a lot I put the dragon heads there um, I'm not too keen on them I'm not too sure I'm in an R-ing, but my son thinks they're quite good so I might keep them here we are in the main courtyard of Hampton Court Palace I'm pleased with this because it looks like what it should do and you see there you've got the great hall and the clock tower um, and we're just about to go inside as you can see, I've just started to put the flooring in. I'm not sure it's right. Um, please, you know, anyone who's a, who has an architectural Hampton Court brain, I do apologise. I'm doing a lot of ad hoc at the moment to sort of fill in gaps, but I will be coming back to it. Right there in front is where the greenhouse will be, and roughly up and down here is kind of where the um, world's largest and oldest grapevine will go. Um, you see, I, I like the way the Great Hall sits in the back. I think uh, that's the bit I'm most impressed with. As I said, I'm using realistic texture pack. I was umming and ahhing whether to use the standard or the medieval and even the Skyrim one um, as I was given that out of some purchase or some bundle pack that I downloaded. Don't know why. I don't mind it, but I don't think I've used it. But I kind of went for the realistic as that's exactly what I'm aiming for. Just in the corner here, there you go, is to me, this is the hardest bit so far. And the reason is, is because I've just got no proper reference to it. And you see, I use a glowstone there, and this glowstone, it's a bit random. You might be thinking, um, what's this about? Well, the reason it's there is because um, it's my reference for, I need to come back here. Um, these are the end rods. Very strange. They are lights, but not only do they light the palace up at night, but they also look like individual chimney stacks and I think that's quite cool I like the fact that they're individual I don't like when um, you know when you put the fencing block down and it all sort of staggers together I don't like that at all um, as you can see we're going towards the Great Hall now I'm really pleased with the Great Hall I think that's possibly one of the best bits I've done yet um, but it's not very great it's a hall it's big but it's not very great and there's a lot of work to be going on there yesterday I put down these reference markers and these reference markers are an indication of how I'm gonna plan this out um, and how long it's gonna be and just there where the cursors on is the Seymour gate this area in general is very higgledy-piggledy it's very complex and I think this would be the last part of the outside build that I work on um, it's very complicated lots of different things going on in there um, but it'd be interesting um, again these are reference markers those markers there on the floor they're the ones they come to the edge of uh, that side there on the left um, it's very slightly out I think I'm like three or four blocks out but I think I can work around that I can improvise that just here that's where Fountain Court would be anyone who's been to Hampton Court will know Fountain Court it's a renaissance structure and a sort of internal it's like an internal sort of area and it has a great big fountain in the middle there you go this is the south side of the palace um and roughly about here is where the gardens will be i will do the gardens i'm not going to not do the gardens and that little village in the background any villages in the near vicinity will be destroyed um because they're simply be in the way again i'm proud of this area it looks like what it should do um this is the east side of hampton court this is the rear of hampton court this is where the bigger section of the garden will be as well um it will look good. 
I'm pleased with it. There's a little bit of ad hoc going on here. A little bit's missing that I haven't quite finished yet, so I need to work on that. But um, also with a realistic texture pack, the, the columns, uh, the column block does a good job. It makes it look like a column um, and it just gives it that tiny little effect. And also I love the fencing at the top as well. That just gives it that extra, extra little touch. I'm about to sort of do an aerial view so you can see the scale of it. It is quite impressive. I'm pleased with it. I, this, I think, realistically, this is my third stroke, fourth attempt of doing Hampton Court. My first one was just literally just from memory. And as you can imagine, it looked like it, but it wasn't right. My second attempt was um, a more realistic attempt um, on the Pocket Edition. And I tried it on... Um, uh, a couple of times of the pocket edition i actually lost it i had a really really good one not as good as this one um as each time i'm doing it it seems to get better um but i did i lost the files for some reason my memory card just decided to die and i lost everything so i started from scratch um as you can see it's quite an intense build um as you can see i'm sort of halfway through certain areas i'm not sure how to proceed with this bit again we come back to this section the glowstone to indicate this is an area that I need to go back to. And the reason is, is the fact that I use Google, Google Earth. I use images from my own personal visits. I use from memory. I use uh, any reference plans, aerial views, everything to, to try and figure out just in that corner where I am now, there's not enough images or information for me to process. Once I've done the outside building, I will work on the inside and then the gardens i might work on the gardens next to something different but i hope you like it i will put another post up soon anything i progress on um please again comment anything you can good or bad um take care of yourselves this is fell phoenix goodbye <laughs>